Beyond Photography Show, Andrew Boy. Well, I'm on the way back from KLPF 2018 with my group of students and we have so many MRT and LRT transit and we were thinking that, hey, let's not waste the time. I did promise you that I will do more tutorials. So here we are. Recently, just a couple of days back, I got a email from a Jonathan Leong asking, should I keep my monitor brightness to positive zero or negative? Well, Jonathan, thanks for writing in. If you own a DSLR like Nikon or Canon, you will notice that you have this feature called monitor brightness. What is the right value to use? Well, Jonathan, very good question. If you ask me, I always keep my monitor at zero. The reason I do this is because I want to see the true exposure of what I see when I shoot with the playback, when I press the playback. So let's look at this picture, which is shot by Kyle. Kyle, this is a very beautiful picture, All right? Now, let me explain. Looks great on the LCD, but how do I know if it's correct exposure? Click on your histogram. Now, if you look at this histogram here, it's good because all these peaks are within the box itself. Nothing is clipped off. I'll explain what clipping is. But if you look at this histogram, it has shifted to the left-hand side. And there's a small little empty space, which means that there is a chance that this, his this, this picture here is slightly underexposed. But then I know I can fix this in post because none of the histogram pics got clipped. So that's how you know whether the exposure is correct or not. Now let's look at another photo done by Kyle. You notice that all the pics are in there, but there's a little bit of cutting off on the extreme right hand side and that's called clipping. So if you really look at this picture, you notice that, yep, it is a little bit overexposed. But I don't need the LCD's brightness to tell me that I'm overexposed. That should not be the right way because as your camera ages, your LCD will become more yellow and dimmer. That's how the screen ages. So what you need to do is look at your histogram. Number one, make sure that all the pics are not cut off like so and make sure that there is no empty space on the left, on the right of the histogram. If you look at this histogram, there is a clipping. But the clipping is called a downslope clipping. Downslope clippings are fine. Well, in the future episode, let's learn more about upslope and downslope clippings. So, if you enjoy our channel, write to us. It's info at beyondphotography.com.my And I look forward to answer your question. And as we always say, visit our website. And we look forward to see you again.